Hello everybody and welcome to Aperture Complex. This is currently a six part mini mod series made by the very talented Clunky One. Clunky One of course brought us the fantastic Focus series where we got to battle Wheatley and discover a new type of cereal. He also brought us the wonderfully bizarre space phase map with Shell's lifeless corpse floating in the inky abyss of space. Uh, this time we are apparently based in a long abandoned Aperture employee housing facility or apartment complex if you will, hence the title I guess. Uh, we are also being told, quite clearly, press E to inspect things. In fact, we are being told, inspect everything, including this, I guess. Cool poster, I should inspect stuff. Alright, well I know that Clunky loves to pack a lot of detail into his map, so we should start spamming E literally everywhere. Apparently the bed is not a thing though. Uh, what about all this wood blocking my door? This plywood is blocking my door for some reason. Wait, didn't I put that there? Surely I put that there. Didn't I block myself in? It's on the it's on the inside. You know what? Let's not go into too much detail. Let's inspect more stuff. Uh, we've got a radio. Can I inspect you? My radio is playing some very dramatic music. Yeah, indeed it does. And because I can pick you up, by laws of Portal 2 gameplay videos, I now have to take you with me everywhere. Yep, we all know that's a rule. I don't make the rules. I just barely remember to enforce them. Uh, is that actually Sky out there? Oh well, we're actually on the surface of the planet for once, that's cool. Actually really refreshing to see clouds instead of the usual subterranean slog. Uh, what else can we inspect? There's stuff over here, what's this? I would use this if we had coffee machines here. Do you not have coffee machines? There's no coffee machines apparently in the Aperture employee housing facility. Actually this place looks a lot like a student place. Especially this car, oh but now I know why there's an empty coffee cup in here. Yeah, if this is a student place and there's no ensuite, we all know what that coffee cup is for, and it's disgusting. Uh, we do have a really big arrow over here that is clearly pointing out something quite important in what appears to be a rather shot up window. What's it say? This window is very fragile, and are those bullet holes? Yeah, yeah, I'd say those bullet holes. That or there's very aggressive birds outside. Or maybe one of my neighbours took a shot at me, because I'm guessing this is like my room in the, in the apartment complex. Uh, there's buttons and stuff out there though, isn't there? So you want me to try and get out of there. Uh, where is that filthy coffee cup? Because I think I know what we need to do. Uh, okay, a coffee cup's not good enough. We could probably do it with the radio though, right? Radio, are you? Perfect, that's what everyone should use a radio for. The music just get quieter. Wait, is that actually coming from the... I can just squeak, squeeze through, let me through. Yeah, it gets louder here. That is actually coming from the radio. Oh, that is a really nice little detail. That is often overlooked in a lot of Portal mods that I've played. The music source, the actual source of the music is actually the radio model. That is a really nice little detail. Uh, we got a reflection cube out of here, a rather filthy old looking one. And apparently, I thank whoever planted this in my backyard. Oh wow, look at that giant bit of rock up there. Yeah, this is definitely one of those apartment complexes. There's that uh, mandatory giant piece of granite that they all have in the parking lot with the building name carved into it. So this is what Aperture would make its employees live in. I'm not surprised it's kind of in this filthy state to be honest. This is all the garden you get and the only access to your garden is apparently smashing your way out of a window. What do you do? You... you kill the music. Oh, you change... oh! At least it's a different... wait, do you change the music? Okay, you do it once. At least it's a different song. And it's still coming from the radio. It is. Okay, cool. We have a button that changes the soundtrack. Actually, that means we do need to take this with us absolutely everywhere if we want to have music then. That's good to know. Uh, we still need to be inspecting stuff, right? We inspected you and we thank whoever put it there. There is a button up here. And there is also a laser emitter. Are you a laser? Yep, okay, you emit the laser. And it is the burning type of laser. Yeah, just double testing. Uh, we have a little balcony that looks over some deadly deadly goo because what else would Aperture use for a water feature than the deadliest of goos? It's actually really nice to be outside. Much nicer than the usual subterranean slog that we do for this place. Very bright and refreshing. It's so weird to see clouds. I like it. I like it a lot. I also want to know what's going on outside these walls. I can only imagine we're sort of fighting our way out of this place. I don't know, we should probably actually work out how to get out of here. Ah, well we have a laser reflection cube. I can grab you and bring it up here and thank whoever planted it in my backyard. And uh, if we put it on the button, 
This, if I remember correctly, should... It does, nice. If it works on turrets, it will work on a board of wood. It did. That is nice. We made it, managed to burn our way out of the building. We've opened our door so we can actually escape. But to do that, we have to take the radio. Because, well, I want a soundtrack, otherwise it's going to get awkwardly quiet. And then I'll have to fill the silence with, uh, well, just rambling more, really. Let's take this as well. Yeah, I know you burn. Let's take this as well, because we usually need science apparatus in this place. Although, technically, this isn't... This is just the housing facility, right? I guess we're somewhere near the science facility. Like, it's below us. Miles. Maybe we're making our way there. All right, take you with us. We've opened up the door. And there's a bloody gate camera in my face, of course. Hi. Uh, can I inspect you? Why must Aperture spy on their employees in their own homes? Because they're perverts. I thought we'd establish this. The security personnel are perverts. I mean, look at Barney. Over in Black Mesa. That guy is just... Ugh. We don't talk about what Barney gets up to. Uh, why do I have you? If I don't have any... Oh, what's this? Ah, that's not the panel. Is that the panel? Is that the pipe? I don't want to know where this leak is coming from. Wait, is that the... Is that the deadly, deadly goo being actually piped through people's bedrooms? There's a leak. You don't want to know where it's coming from. It's probably coming from the guy upstairs. Every flat I've ever had, there's been a problem with the guy upstairs. Although... Actually, the last place I was in, I was the guy upstairs, and I never had any problems. Oh, I see why now. Ah, okay, never mind, let's not think about that too much. Those poor neighbours. Uh, let's head out here with our radio, of course. Uh, open you up, you take me to... Ah, a nice big open area. This must be like the communal gardens of the Aperture Employee Housing Facility. Just seen there's some panels up in there. I don't have a portal gun. Yeah, we're going to have to check literally everywhere because Clunky does pack a hell of a lot of detail into his maps. Uh, we've got some of these vintage cubes. These antique cubes go for quite a bit on eBay, apparently, even though they're just some plywood, rubber and staples. Why has no one knocked up one of those for the cosplay yet? I see loads of people doing the lazy shell cosplay, which, come on, is just a tank top and a boiler suit. But no one's ever gone to the effort of making one of these. You can make them really easy. Look, you just need a staple gun and some plywood. And some aperture stencils, apparently. Uh, we have... You're a laser receptor in moon variety. And you're a door that needs a moon. It also needs a cross. Uh, what else have we got? We've got some posters. I recognise that poster from the Space Phase map. Always watching. I miss Space Core. I hope he's happy up there. We actually got to help him get there in the Focus series as well. Repulsion Gel. It's what's for dinner. Repulsion gel can cure cancer. It also has a 20% chance to give you bone inflammation and paralyze you from the neck down each cramp. Yeah, I think that's why they actually took it off the market in the end, wasn't it? Someone else stuck to the wall up there. Yeah, I do want to know what else is going on out here. And what is this, actually? Isn't this from that uh, weird little bit of extra game on the Portal 2 start menu? Can we inspect it? This place is a train wreck. Yeah, it literally is. Well, if there was ever a place for a drum snare uh, sound effect, this would be it. Thank you, much better. Uh, what was this thing up in here? I've just seen another door there as well, but we've got some buttons, the old variety type. Uh, we've got a square, well that was over there somewhere. Nope, that is right there actually. And I've got another button. Ooh, that looked like the one that changed the music. Wait, where's my radio? I need to test this and I need the radio to do it. Where are you? Where did I leave you? It's getting louder. I actually have to locate it by sound go stick this over here and I'm gonna press that button because I got a theory of what it might do put you there press the button finally a new song oh that is really cool I hope there's one of these in like every open bit we get to so we can keep changing the soundtrack that's just a nice little design feature to the add to the game uh, you we probably need to turn on because you're the laser emitting variety actually we should go see what's in this room first yeah, there's definitely panels up there, so we want to get in there as well. What do you do? You got a handle, so you should work. Yeah, another camera. Are you inspectable? No. Portal gun in? No way. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Clunky, I love you, dude. That's brilliant. Uh, if you don't recognize this, then you're probably watching this channel by mistake. But yeah, that's kind of my thing there. And this automatically makes this the best mod I've ever played. Thank you so much, Clunky. That's fucking cool. Can I inspect it? This seems to be some kind of graffiti art. Indeed it does, right? We've got to keep a lookout for that as well, just in case it's dotted around the place more. I mean, if you don't recognize it, well, well, I failed then, basically, haven't I? 
Should have been one at the start of this video. Uh, we've also got a laser reflection cube in here. Oh, but my cube doesn't get cleaned. No, oh, this one is much nicer than mine. Is this someone else's bedroom? He doesn't actually have a bed unless it got crushed by the bit of wall. This guy got a mini fridge and a microwave though. He must have been on some sort of higher price plan. Yeah, some kind of graffiti art. If you do want to try and make that into graffiti art, I will warn you now that cutting that out in a stencil is a fucking nightmare. So uh, yeah, I gave up, don't bother. All right, let's take this with us because there is lasers to play with out here. In fact, you're the emitting kind, right? And we've got some cubes around here. We've got one cube here. Let's go stick this on one of those buttons because I'm pretty sure that that will actually do the laser. These antique cubes go for quite a bit on eBay. Yes, they do. Indeed, they do. Stick you on there. Uh, ah, there's another one up there as well. Yeah, this is definitely one of those fancy apartment complexes. This probably counts as modern art in the communal garden. You know what aperture's like with cutting corners? This one also goes for quite a bit on eBay. But it can also go sit on this button back here. Stick you on there. Uh, that has turned the laser on because, yeah, you're the laser one. Ah, we can actually see what this is now that I've finally got in here. Alright, what have we got? Michigan Times, 9th of the 21st, no, it's American, I always forget that. 21st of the 9th, 2015. Aperture Complex. Reports that Aperture Sciences' abandoned Aperture Complex facility may still hold a few lost employees of 10 years ago inside. Aperture denies these claims probably because of their already horrible reputation in the science industry for misconduct. If these employees are still stuck inside the Aperture Laboratory's employee apartment complex facility, wow, that's a mouthful, what measures should we take to get them out? And even if they're in the facility, do we think they would have survived 10 years alone? Dave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science, denies that the complex facility even ever existed, which brings up more questions as to why they want to cover it up so badly. More updates on this story soon. Cool, so we actually get like some backstory to this mod as we go around the place then. But look out for these. Uh, can I inspect that? Wait, I've been asleep for 10 years? Apparently so. Aperture employees do have a habit of sleeping for a very, very long time. Probably the fumes that come off of the deadly, deadly goo. Uh, we got a laser. We got a laser reflector. Stick you around there. Ah, uh, we actually had another one, didn't we? In fact, there's another nice little design hint, isn't it? Because when you pick this up, oh, but my cube doesn't get cleaned. That's to remind you that you have another laser reflection cube. I actually brought it part of the way with me. Yeah, you burn as well. I actually put, brought this laser cube part of the way with me, didn't I? Or I leave it in my room. Yeah, I left it here. Cool, right, that will get the laser around the corner, and I'm guessing that's going to open up this door for us. Uh, we need to inspect more things before we go, though. That opens that up to a room that contains a bunch of toilets. Uh, we definitely got to inspect the toilets. These are the public bathrooms Aperture supplies us with. Ew. Ew. No wonder you wanted to use the cup in your bedroom instead. In fact, they're not even lined up. How could you ever concentrate on what you were trying to do in here with these being all over the place like this? Do any of you flush? They're not even plumbed in. Yeah, that is disgusting. Aperture is kind of a gross place when you get down to looking at it. Uh, anything else going in here? We've got a broken air vent that is very human crawl through kind of sized. Some panels in here as well, but I haven't actually got a portal gun. You can find a portal gun somewhere. I didn't inspect these, did I? Well, I read them, but I didn't inspect them. Uh, not you. Not you. You just spam E everywhere. Ah, wait, what was that one? This plant... Wait, hold on. Those are quite quick to read. This plant was neglected by Aperture. Yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised. Look at the state of this place and look at how Aperture treats its employees. You really think a pot plant would survive? Surprised it's doing as well as it is, actually. Probably just sticks at this point, though. Uh, what are we doing and where is my radio, more importantly? To keep spamming E everywhere. Let's take the radio with me. Yeah, it's still playing some rather dramatic music, but different dramatic music. Can I, can I, can I get over here? Thank you. Yeah, we definitely want to take this with us, otherwise it's going to go rather quiet in here, I think. Take you through here. Crouch. A nice human-sized air vent, if I can, if I can crawl through. You do, and this side. Ah, that is quite clearly a turret's laser. Hey, turret. Oh, there's another button in here too. What do you do? Change the music? Why even bother with these song changes anymore? Why? Why? I'll tell you why, Clunky, because that is a very cool little feature to build in your maps. Just because, and just because, I like it just because. Ah, we've got a couple of turrets to deal with in here. 
Um, can I get past my radio? Thank you are no, 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 no. You see nothing. You see nothing until I pick you up and chuck you at your mate. Yeah, you're still functional. I right, grab you as well. Ah, fuck, fuck. I was just about to say there's another one around the corner, but then uh, this bastard started taking shots. Go away. Fall over for me. And that's him dealt with as well. Uh, there's a cube in here. And there's another turret around the corner. Can you can you do anything? Are you gonna take shots? Is this breakable glass? Am I in a bad place? Oh, we got you. Wait, what's that? This should help me not get shot to death. That's exactly what I was just thinking. These are great shields for taking care of turrets. And making sure the bullets don't hit you even in their last throes of death. There's another laser there, isn't there? That is probably another turret. You another turret in here? Yeah, you are. Okay. Yep. Okay. There's another turret in there. Ah, well, there's... Oh, there's my portal gun. I'm going to say there's the portal, hold, portal gun holding cradle. My portal gun's waiting over there. Let's uh, get past this guy. Pick that up. We have portal gun technology. Right, we can actually play portal now. Uh, first thing we should probably do is mess him up, since there is a panel behind him. Grab you. Let's chuck you down the corridor with your friends. In fact, let's get all of you out the way. All of you out the way. Thank you. I inspect you. An empty portal device. An empty portal device podium. There must be one near. Yeah, somehow it launched itself over there. Wait, is there more peoples in here? More peoples? Is there more people? Am I the last survivor in the facility? That would be really weird and a, probably a very complicated addition to a portal mod, actually. If more people turned up, we're going to have some of those port uh, those Half-Life 2 NPCs turn up. I have a portal gun. And back here is my radio. But there was also that little room. The portals have turned off. Uh, wait, do these work? Do they work? Well, they don't appear to work. There's also this little room back here, wasn't there? You can actually get up in there now. Uh, put one up there. That would explain why we have a panel in my bedroom. Ah, also, we have portal gun now, so let's do that and that and feel better about ourselves. But we do need to go stick this up in there again. Uh, up in there. Thank you. Uh, that is what this panel in my room is probably for. Up in here is a small little rat man type den with... Alpha male? Yikes! What does that actually say alpha male on the cup? It does. Yeah, you know that's the office dickhead when he insists on using that cup. We've got uh, Shell's old experiment. You could eat this potato if it weren't electrically charged. You could. It would make you very, very ill, but you know, you could, technically. Uh, we've got some beans. One of our only sources of food. Beans! More beans, and uh, we've got another coffee cup. Only top tier employees get coffee machines. Cool. Right, well, we have to find a top tier employee bedroom then. Clearly, I'm not a top tier employee. I just have a boring room. I don't even get the mini fridge. Can I get out of here, please? I line you up this way. Come on, let me out. Let me out. I need to do portal. I can't be stuck in here, can I? Yeah, that's better. All right, I got you. Don't think we need to worry about you, but I'm going to leave you in there. Uh, see how quiet it's gone without the radio? We need to get back to that. Let's go find my radio again and then work out where we need to actually go next. Yeah, slowly scrape our way past the metalwork. Here's my radio. You need to come with me. Still playing the very dramatic music. Right, we have a cube. We have a portal gun. We have panels in you. You've got a grate on the floor. There's something down there. There's something... Yeah, there's the way we need to go. But first, we do have to keep the soundtrack going going to be horribly quiet and I can't feel the quietness with my talking as, as much as I ramble to be honest it just gets old uh, let's head down there then should I bring that cube as well actually yeah let's uh, bring the cube as well grab you take you in here then let's put blue down there chuck you through and chuck you through and can I get through too I can't right where'd my radio go ah that's a fizzler Are you going to destroy stuff you not destroy stuff? Are you not a fizzler as I know fizzlers to be? Apparently not. Uh, where'd my radio go though? I jammed it down in the gap here. Can I have that please? Thank you. Right, let's head through this door. Ah, what? Ah, well apparently you are a real fizzler and you have a bias towards destroying people's radios. Luckily the music's still going though. Head through you, you're gonna destroy that? You're gonna destroy that as well. Well apparently we don't need it anymore, although this looks a lot like an actual test chamber. 
to Aperture made its employees continue testing whenever they got home. No, that really doesn't surprise me now that I think about it. And there's another one of those things as well. We need to go read that. What else have we got before we jump down in there? I mean, I assume I can get back out since there's something to go read. Uh, we got relays. We got a door with one, two, three. This relay says one. That's probably our exit. We've got another little peek to the outside world. Oh, we've got an actual skyline view here as well. Not skyline. Actual sky view. Yeah, it's really nice light. The source engine makes light that's supposed to be daylight look lovely. Oh, that's why we're going to look up here, isn't it? There's another one of Clunky's secret little rooms. Can get a portal up in there? I can. What is in this one? This one is just, just a chair, apparently. Just in case I need to sit down, I suppose. Oh, we should definitely bring that with us then to make up for the missing radio. Wait, where have you gone? There you are. Can I, can I, can I get out, please? 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 Why is it so difficult to get out of the ceiling? You go sit over there and wait for me. Then... Yeah, come on. Come on. I know I can get out of here. I must be able to get out of here, right? Yeah? Please? Please? Don't trap me in here. That's better. Do that weird little flick around thing that we do. Right, just in case I need to sit down, we do in fact now have a chair. We've got a relay here with number two. And what looks like a receptor on the wall there with number three. So... You're not the exit. You're just a random door. We want to make our way out of there, probably with that laser. But first, we should go see what these things do. We have a button. A button that does... Ah, well that's given us a reflection cube. And that is a receptor, so that probably... Yeah, that probably turns the fizzler off for us to get back out. But let's go see what this one says. Uh, 9th of the... No, 26th of the 9th. I'm going to have to remember that every time. 26th of the 9th, 2015. Michigan Times. Updates on Aperture Complex. We've been begging for information on the abandoned Aperture Apartment Complex facility for weeks now, and we finally convinced Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science, to do an interview. Look, you want an interview? I'll give you an interview, you dirty bastard. Sir? Language? Yes, Caroline, thank you. Look, there's nothing of interest over in that abandoned hellhole. Search all you want, you won't find a damn thing. And especially not living humans. But don't worry your stupid faces off, people. We've got something coming, and better. Our new space phase facility will be fantastic. I'm still getting the lab boys on board with the idea, but sir, you're getting off track. That was all the time we had at Aperture, but we will see about getting more information soon. Right, now I really, really wish I could do a decent Cave Johnson impersonation. But we all know there's only one person on the planet who can do that voice, and unfortunately he only works in exchange for pictures of Spider-Man. How do I get out of here? Uh, with lasers, right? And there? No? Can I not? Put that a bit higher. And a bit lower, and grab you. And you go in there, do you turn off the fizzler? Right, you turn off the fizzler, that's how we get out of here. Take you with me. Right, I take it, we've got to get this laser through every one of these relays. Two relays and a receptor. Is there... There's clearly no angle here. Wait, what did I just set fire to? Is that my chair? Oh, I can't sit down now. I have created an eternally burning flame of office hardware. This has been guiding admin staff for decades. i got to take that with me now, don't I? Because I don't have a radio anymore. And a burning chair is far more impressive anyway. Um, what was I doing? I was ah, trying to open that door with relays and lasers and stuff. There is no angle for that here, though. Do we need to do some sort of laser angling? Yes, I uh, can't do that. What if we do... Do you, and can I get onto that wall and that wall? Can I get onto this wall and that wall? One there. And that's coming out there. Oh, I almost, almost managed to open that one up again. Ah, but I want it out of there. That's the wrong way. Yes, but more importantly, no. Although, maybe I could get it to actually hit that as well coming out of there. I'm going to try that first. This might be making it more elaborate than it actually needs to be. But if we can get that laser to come over this way a bit more. And I hit everything. No, in fact, I'm hitting nearly nothing. That's clearly the wrong approach. Uh, we definitely do look like we need to use angles, though. My chair's gone out. Do you not catch fire anymore? No? Well, that's disappointing. We must have burnt through all the padding and then just down to the asbestos lining now. Still going to take it with me, though, because, you know, it's something to carry. Uh, we need a better angle than that, don't we? Yeah, we need a way better angle than that. Let's uh, try with you a bit further down. An orange... like, that side, maybe? 
We're directly behind. Directly behind. Let's try directly behind. And through you and you. Ah, is that not... That's not a good angle. Uh, well, let's try this one again. There and there. There. And then that makes that come out completely the wrong way. So... Is there an angle that will do it that way? No, that's the opposite to what I actually want, isn't it? Yeah, that's the opposite. Unless you could do it there, then I can't get that one. So I'm going to need a sharper angle, maybe. Like there. That's very close to both of them, but not quite right. There. It's got to include this one, so it has to be a bit more over anyway. And then that's not an angle I want at all. Am I making this way more complicated than it needs to be? Should I have left it coming out of there, maybe? That seems like extra steps. Let's just keep trying this. Through there. And then why is that at an angle I can't use now? I thought you were a good angle. Wait, why are you coming out and then not coming out? Because the chair's in the way? Move you over there. Oh, actually, that's just reminded me. Now we can actually sit down again. If only there was that ability in the game. Why is that not... I swear I had a much nicer angle than this previously. Let's put that down there more then and move you along more. And it would also help if I put that portal somewhere it's actually going to hit this one, wouldn't it? There? There? Oh, look how close that is to that. Can I have it? That has opened the door. Right, where is my chair? Uh, take the chair with us. We've got a rather dark little area. What is the cross? Inspect everything. Inspect you? It looks like I need to inspect 35 things in total. Oh. Was there actually 35 things I was supposed to be spamming E at? Oh man, now I'm really tempted to go back, but uh, I think I'll actually progress and maybe maybe we'll come back to that one day. Yeah, I bet that lights up if we actually spam E at 35 things and something cool will happen. Well, that will have to be a nice little Easter egg treat for those of you watching who want to play yourselves. Uh, let's see what this goes to. We've got more chamber through here. This door leads us to Aperture. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I was about to say this door leads us to Aperture Complex Part 2. It apparently also leads us face to face with a turret. But I'm pretty sure, yeah. Never mind. It's the defective turret. The defective turret can't do a bloody thing. Hiya, mate. How are you doing? Uh, my name is Nerima. I am currently making... Wait, wait, wait. Why am I explaining myself to you? You can't do a damn thing. Uh, you did have a message for me just then, though. What did you say? I think I should bring this guy with me. Yeah, okay. Apparently, we need to bring the defective turret with us for the rest of the way. I guess that kind of makes up for the fact that my chair disappeared in between loading maps. I don't have a radio anymore, either. Uh, we got a tube with some cubes zipping past. We've got some broken stairs. We've got some panels that look very much, very much set up to do the classic portal launch yourself thing with the whoop, wow, up there thing. Those sound effects aren't the correct ones, but you can imagine the moon over. Uh, we've got a door here where, th see, that is why we need to take him with us. He highlights things of importance. Uh, we've got a door. We've got a door that opens to another door that is clearly linked to this one and swings open. We've got another in your face camera, but we can do this. I just destroyed vital testing apparatus. Indeed I did. Since we have a portal gun and that is available to do, we're going to do it all the time. Uh, what's going on in this? Is this someone else's room? This guy got a button. Why did this guy get a button? And he's got a clean bed and a much nicer carpet. He was clearly paying much higher rental prices. Uh, he even got air conditioning. Although, oh, what did you do? You made a noise. I should have expected you to make a noise. Because you are a button. He also got a view of a exit. Actually, this room is horrible then. This guy had a button that he could stand on and just dream of the exit he can never reach. Yeah, no one can get in their backyards. Everyone's got this like little patch of garden, but no one can actually get into it. Except for me, because I have a portal gun. Uh, we need a panel. You work, right? Because we used you before. Right, out here in this guy's garden is, is bugger all, actually. There's a door. A door I need a cube for to get through. Uh, what's he got? He's got a smashed up turret on his roof. How did that get there? Someone flinging turrets over the wall from their back garden. There's someone who can actually get in their back garden in this complex. And they've been lobbing crap into everyone else's garden. 
They even gave me a cube right at the start, which actually came in kind of handy now I think about it. Why did this guy get air conditioning though, was what I was going to ask. Now we know what that does. Yeah, this guy apparently got air conditioning in his room, although... Looking at that, you're pretty much guaranteed to get Legionnaire's disease off of that, that's disgusting. Uh, he got a computer as well, I had a computer, does his do anything? The computers here don't work anymore. Of course they don't, nobody has the necessary two floppy disks to boot the damn things up. Yes kids, you used to have to use two floppy disks to boot up a computer and actually do things. Didn't you ever wonder why your C drive is your main drive? A. B. There, there you go, you've learned something. And no, I'm not quite that old, but... I, I did play with these when I was very little. Uh, what else have we got? We've got this flip thing to do. Yeah, that's definitely a launch. Let's go see what is up this launch area. Well, that should be pretty good if I can pull this off. Ah, nice. It usually takes me many attempts to do such a simple thing. Up here, we've got a place that is clearly for dropping down into there. Would that get me? Ah, no. Clunky's put a bit of mesh work there so you can't launch yourself to freedom. Clearly thought about that. Uh, in here we have got some deadly goo. Ah, we've got a radio. I'm sorry turret, I don't need you anymore. I've got a radio. They're far more fun to carry. Uh, we've got a cube and a radio. Well, we needed that cube in the guy's bedroom with the button. We need to get over there and get it somehow. These panels we can use. Any of... Ah. ah, well you are clearly a panel. And that is what the panel on the floor is for. This is what we're supposed to do to get clean over there. If I can do this one without messing up. Very nice. Almost went day in the go. And we got a radio. That is actually where the music is coming from again. Uh, there is a panel here, which is clearly the way that we want to get out of here. Let's put blue on you. That will take us back out to the outside. Grab that. This radio is very slippy. Oh. Well, it said this radio is very slippery for some odd reason. But now the whole bloody thing is soaked. Um... I'm not going to risk getting that because that looks pretty deep and I think it might be deadly. I do want the radio though. No. No, no. It's gone. It's gone. It's lost forever. Take it back turret. I do actually need you again. This cube should come in handy as always. They always do come in very, very handy. Uh, we can go stick on. Yeah, I know the way to go. Thank you for pointing. Go stick you on the button. Stick you in there. That opens up the door in the guy's garden. I wonder if he ever had access to a cube. You know what? I don't care. He's probably dead. And I am alive, therefore superior. Let's uh, take you with us, because apparently we need to. I think I should bring this guy with me. Yeah, yeah I'm working no on bullets. that. Sorry. Don't have any bullets to spare, sadly. No, that, that's a good thing. Otherwise, the guy would have taken pot shots at me, right? Uh, let's put a portal on that panel again out there. Let's put that there. Let's grab you. Yep, I know. Take the guy with me. Go through here and into a little caged off area that says keep out. Well, I don't have much choice. You've meshed the whole zone off. Is there no way? Yeah. I've just seen a little arrow that is pointing to pointing to a place that we can in fact put a portal. Cool. Uh, that means we can grab you and we can drop through. Now I'm going to move you actually. Put you there. And that looks like deadly goo in there. Yeah, that looks like more deadly goo. Am I going the... That's got to be the way. There was a bloody great red arrow. You know what? You go test it for me. Also, I'm going to test if you're water soluble. Down we go. He seems okay. Doesn't look all that deep. Uh, and I don't really have much of a choice. And... No, this is fine. Oh, there's more of this. Michigan Times, 12th of the 27th... No. 27th of the 12th, 2000... Oh. When the other one's 2015? This is 2004. Ah, well this is an older periodical. Right, what does this one say then? Aperture's new facility. If you live in Michigan, you've probably heard of Aperture Laboratories. Aperture has taken the science industry by storm ever since the 1950s. With things like propulsion gel, the dual portal device, and their recent step into creating and building a sentient AI. But the main purpose of this article is to inform you about Aperture's step back into employee housing. The company used to run apartment complexes far underground. And initially they went well, but they were abandoned without reason. But putting the past behind them, Aperture is now building a new and improved version of their aptly named Aperture Complex facility. It'll be on the surface of the earth, probably because of the complaints from many employees about never seeing the sun. But don't worry, not everyone has to move to the Aperture Complex. Only employees who feel comfortable with doing so or cannot afford a house of their own can move in. The facility will be launched and opened summer of this coming year 2005. Very quiet without a radio. 
There's no way I can get that back now, is there? Wait, uh, you inspectable? I remember reading this newspaper years ago. Yeah, that's cool. We got like backstory all the way. I hope these are through the entire series. Got a feeling they will be. You come with me because apparently you're important. Up into the remnants of another test chamber. Another nice little like peek up into the sky there. I like those. They look really, really nicely done. Just the fact that we actually have clouds above us for once is really nice too. In here we have an exit door. We've got a laser receptacle and another relay. There's a filthy cube up there of the reflection variety. Uh, well, we probably need to do these two things to open that thing. And then, where's he gone? You. You can come wait over here for me. Did I just see... I did. That's what that tiny little hint of light was for in there. There's another secret little room in here. Oh nine, loads of beans. Uh, what is that? Help us. Written in what I can have only assume to be very, very, very well legible blood. Uh, we've got a turret box. Turret box. Better not open this box. Why? I want one. Actually, no, I don't. This one will have bullets. Got beans in here, though. I'll never run out of food here. Are there any more little holes? Any more sneaky little places? Yeah, we got to keep a good eye out for things to inspect and all these secret little clunky hidden spots. Clunky secrets, I'm going to call them. Uh, can I take you? No, you can't move, can you? Uh, there's nothing else in here. Where did I put you? I left you by the door. Let's see about getting that laser into there via that. Um, ah, well, you're another launch yourself kind of place, aren't you? If we can pull this one off smoothly. Through there, into there, funnel me up here. Right, laser reflection cube. Uh, panels, you don't actually go to a panel though. So what if we do, do like there, and that one just to try to start with. Grab you. A lot of these cubes, a lot of these cubes rarely get cleaned. Nope, we found another filthy one. Right, can I hit everything through here? Oh, without burning myself, let's get more of an angle on that actually. Yeah, I know, burning, everything burns. Can I do everything? If we get more this way? I can hit one of them at least. I can't hit the door, we need more of an angle than that. Uh, let's move the blue. Let's shunt the blue over that way just a little bit, because then we should be able to get a much tighter angle on that. Maybe, or have I messed it up now? What about put orange there? Where is that even going? Uh, oh, it's so close, it's so close, it's so close. No. Right, well, let's put blue back then. Put blue back this way a bit since it was working at least for one thing at a time. Get you filthy cube, that rarely gets cleaned. And aim. Ah, I'm ever so close with that. Can I... Who can I shift to make that more accurate? Move the blue over just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit more. Just, just, just a tiny bit more. That's you. And now, can I get both angles? Can I? Can I? Is that both? Nope, that is just one. I'm not good at guessing these angles, as you might be able to tell. Now, we, we need blue back this way just a little bit. Just a, just a little. Oh, it did it both for a second, then. Go on, you come over there, then. And then... I know I can get you both. There must be this, right? Oh, it's so close. Orange, you got to move now. Oh, oh, it opened for a second. Is that both? No. I'm really bad at judging laser angles, aren't I? You sit there. Ah, that is both of them, finally. Hey, I'm not... I'm not the worst at judging laser angles, it just takes me a lot of tries. Anything else hidden in here before we go anywhere? No, we do have to check everywhere though, because there's clearly secret rooms. Uh, you need to come with me into here. There is an exit behind some mesh. You can wait there for me for a moment. What else have we got going on in here? We have got a vacuum tube and an exit. Oh, we've also got a panel. That's clearly how we get in here. If if I can get back up this mound is is that uh, is uh can I? I grab hold of the foliage and I spam the space bar. Yeah, yeah, just ever so ever so close. This must be surely it's not a trap. There it goes, that's much better. Thank you. Right, we can go in here. 
Now uh, we can go see how we open this exit. Wait, what did you say? You said something, but I missed it. Can you say it again? Come on, make a wise crack. No? Ah, we got another one of these things, like at the end of the last level. Inspect everything! What did that one say just then? That say something? I don't want to go in there just yet. I want to... I assume we're actually going that way, not that way. 22 and an X. Looks like we need to go in the vacuum tube. Yeah, I guess that part. 22 and an X, so... Can I inspect you? Uh, you. No, I bet this is like at the end of the last one, so this map actually had 22 things that we should have inspected. Yeah, okay. I uh, wasn't counting. I can't go back. There may be a video in the future just called Aperture Complex Inspect Everything. That would actually be quite quite a fun video to make, I think. Try and find literally everything. Um, you want me to go in there, don't you? But looking at the time, I'm actually going to go ahead and leave this video here, because uh, I'm pretty sure this is actually the end of the level anyway. Uh, until the next episode of Aperture Complex, you can go ahead of me. So thank you very much for watching. Until the next episode of Aperture Complex, catch you later.